Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Blaine and in today's video, we're gonna talk about 10 habits that you can implement today on how you can lose fat without using exercise to help you with that. Before we dive straight into the video, I will say if you wanna see more content like this from myself and on this channel, then please hit the subscribe and the notification bell is well down below. This will help you see when my video is posted so you won't miss uh, a second as soon as it comes out. So I made a list of 10 habits that I use that I've learned over the seven years of my fitness journey from when I was started about when I was 17 and I learned these things through trial and error. I also want to design this list that anyone say if you can't exercise due to say injuries and stuff like that and you're stuck in lockdown, this list was designed specifically so you don't have to rely on exercise. Also, you can actually implement all these today as well. You definitely want to go stick around to the end of this video as well because I have a, an awesome opportunity for someone that's just starting on their fitness journey and they're not sure how to go about that. If you do have any questions, comment that below and I will make sure I can answer all of these for you. Okay, all that out of the way, let's move on to habit number one. This one's very basic, but a lot of people don't do that, which is watch your daily water intake. What does that mean and how does this keep the fat off your body? So not drinking enough water basically makes your body in a state where it needs to hold water. So if you drink water regularly, your body will actually just keep peeing it out, keep the water weight off your body. The daily recommendation is two to three liters a day for an adult. An easy indicator to see if you're actually drinking enough is also go to the toilet and depending on the color of your pee, it shouldn't be really yellow. It should be nice and see-through. Easy way to implement this habit as well, the way I've done this and the way I still do this for today, seven years down the road, is as soon as I wake up, I drink a half pint to a pint of water every morning as soon as I get out of bed and then kind of have half a pint throughout the day. Tip number two is using the hand method for portion control. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, there is a method out there that you basically use your hand to use a portion control on each plate you eat for meal through proteins, carbs, and your fats. Now, this is kind of like an example of a good plate. This plate is a circle of food. A good source, a good size of that plate or portion of that plate would be protein carbs and your greens and also your fats. This is a good ratio of foods. Now, obviously you're not gonna walk around with a picture like this everywhere. Easy way to do that is your palm reads a good measurement for your proteins and carbs in each meal. So that could be like a chicken breast for your protein or a steak for your protein, anything like that. Or a carb source would be like a potato, big potato or two small potatoes. The same size as your palm again salads stuff like that your green beans would be a handful so you grab a handful lob on your plate that's a good portion a healthy portion of greens in that one meal now if it was fats as well fats is one that it, there's a lot of calories it's very calorie dense in, in fats compared to say carbs and protein normal portion a healthy size portion for an adult would be say your thumb so that thumb would be like a knob of butter. That would be a nice healthy portion size for that meal. Spread those meals out throughout the day. That's how you know you're, you're getting all the macronutrients that you need, your, your carbs, proteins, and fats, and actually getting a good source of that as well. That's basically portion control in a nutshell using the hand method. Habit number three, my trusty little book here, just so I got some good notes. Out of the 100% of foods that you eat every single day, 80% should be natural foods. The more natural the food's gonna be, more, more than likely it's gonna be healthy for you. So 80% would be say, you know, eat all your meals and then you can have probably two snacks within that day that are bad for you, like a chocolate bar or something like that. An easy way to know if it's natural or not is obviously say a banana, a banana comes from a tree that naturally comes and grows from a tree. Apart, let's say bread, bread is obviously made, man-made food, so it's not natural. <laughs> Voice is gone there. Same with fruits, fruits are good. And salads, obviously that comes from the ground. With potatoes, whereas obviously cereal bars, packet of crisps, you, know, you get the gist. It, obviously if it's more man-made, then nine times out of 10, it's, it's obviously gonna be worse for you than it, it being good. Remember that, write that down. 80% of the foods that you eat should be natural. We'll get into why you shouldn't go to 100% 
later in the video. Moving on to number four, which is create a healthy list of your favorite foods. Why is this really handy for you? So imagine you're sitting on the sofa or you're just, you're kind of bored at the moment and you want to eat some food and you're just kind of brainstorming, oh, what shall I eat? Or what's in the cupboards right now? Normally this is either going to be crisps or it's like chocolate or ice cream if you've got it in the freezer, stuff like that. Obviously that's not good. Okay, so the way to cut that out or the way I done that to cut those thoughts out is to write a food, a list of food probably on my phone and stuff like that, that I like to make very fast and easy to make that is healthy, like a healthy alternative. I like fish, which is basically I, ha I eat tuna and mayo, mix it up. You know, obviously there's a little bit of fat in that mayo and there's fat in um, some fishes, but majority of that meal is protein. Very fast and easy, just open up a can, whip it in a bowl, mix it up, eat it. That's one of the, one of the foods I put on my lists. You can, you can split these lists if you want to. This is literally as simple as writing it down like this. So you could use your snacks, dinners, and breakfast. Literally put your favorite things down that you want to have and obviously fit them into the rules here, fit, fit them into the habits, something that is good for you and not bad for you. So that it just saves having that time where you're bored and you're hungry and you want to eat something and it just, it just takes that off off of bad food straight away for you it worked for me i'm sure that might help out some of you out there for sure Got some caramel i don't want to okay. baby i'm good I'm good. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button below. This helps share it to get it to more people. The tip number five, don't forget to treat yourself, okay? For myself, I treat myself once or twice a week, depending on how busy the week was, how stressful, yada, yada, yada. I make sure I definitely do treat myself at least once a week. Why is that important? This makes sure that you're not depriving yourself. For example, if you start a diet, which by the way, that's a, sh a really bad word you shouldn't really use. No one likes the idea of, an ad of a diet, okay? As soon as you say diet to anyone, they'll be like, oh, great. As you say, you don't want to eat donuts anymore, okay? You cut out donuts. I'm not eating donuts until I look the way I want to look. I'm telling you, day one, you're going to want donuts by the end of it. It's just the way it is. We've all done it. The more you deprive yourself from foods that you really, really like and you enjoy, you're going to really, really hate what you're doing and the diet, the diet that you're on right now. You just need to learn to put it in moderation. Okay. Use it as a treat, not as a, as a habit to eat every single day. So yes, eat once or twice a week, something that you're treating yourself with. The more often you treat yourself, I would say the less, the smaller the treat should be. Okay. You shouldn't have like pizza every time you complete a good day. Okay. It, it would take the whole point away. Number six is don't store unhealthy food in your house, which is easier said than done, say if it's just one of you in the house. But obviously it's very, it, it's an obvious reason why you shouldn't. However, if you've got kids or a sibling, then clearly they're not all gonna be jumping on this diet with you. So an easy tactic for that is to make sure they put it in cupboards that you can't see. Okay, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. It makes it a lot easier for yourself, trust me. My partner does that and I'll eat it straight away before she even knows it's gone. Okay. I had many arguments over that. Okay. It's definitely my bad. My, uh, my control is terrible, but at the same time, it will make it easier for yourself to close it out of sight, out of mind. If she hides it from me, we're all good. Comment below if you've actually tried any of these so far and if they've been successful or ones that you're definitely going to try. The point of why I wanted to start this channel and make these videos for you is to make sure I'm giving value to the people that need it. Moving on to number seven, which is... <coughs> Ask yourself a question before you eat whatever you're about to eat. What do I mean by this? So there's one question I ask myself before I eat some food, if I clearly am eating for the sake of eating. So the easy, easy way I've stopped myself preventing from eating, knowing the difference between when I'm eating when I'm hungry and when I'm eating just for the sake of eating is by asking myself one question and that is, am I actually hungry right now? You've just had dinner and you wanna eat some snacks to watch say TV or a movie. You know you're just eating them just for the comfort of eating. Just keep your hands busy, keep your mouth busy. It's, you, you know when you're eating for the sake of eating. Asking that question puts the pressure on yourself and then you can't lie to yourself as well. And I don't know why I keep doing this. Looks like I'm like caressing myself. Stop it. 
Moving on to tip number eight, don't eat before bed, okay? Obvious, a lot of people say it and it's clearly, it's, it is obvious why you shouldn't. I mean, you, when you go to bed, you're not using any of the energy. The majority of people, they go to bed, um, you know, they, they rest for a good couple hours before bed and then go to bed. You don't need to eat any food. That's why for, for myself, a habit I made because it's, it's unnecessary food. And again, it'll probably come down to eating through comfort. Which leads me on to my next point, which is number nine. <laughs> Limit your snacks whilst watching TV or on your phone or watching a movie, anything like that. It's very easy to just get lost in what you're eating whilst you're watching a movie. I'm sure you've been there if you've been to the cinema or something like that. You've took so much snacks and you've finished the lot. Because the movie's an hour and a half to two hours. Unless, well, some days, some, some movies even go on for three hours now. Crazy. Whatever you're going to take with you, you're going to finish. Okay, so if I would say if you're going to do this, which obviously you shouldn't, then have a limited amount of food. Like have half a pack of popcorn or something. Just something that you know you're not going to be eating so much of it. Trust me, I've been doing this and it helps me out big time with just not eating for the sake of eating. Now, the last point, which is number 10, and this is the cheesiest one, most woo woo, not just as simple as implementing, but you can definitely start this today, is knowing your why, why you want to actually do that, why you want to do this. Why did you click on this video to learn about doing this while you're stuck in lockdown, possibly? Um, yeah, why, why, why is it that you wanted to watch this video? Your why is the straw is the glue to start implementing this these things. I mean, that's when I started get serious and learning and failing and trying to figure out what things that work for me particularly. These are the ones that stuck with me because of the why I had, why I wanted to, um, you know, either just feel really good about myself through fitness and health. You really need to know the reason behind why you would want to change. You know you you will only get half-assed results until you really know 100 percent what you're doing it for yeah i'm not gonna get any more in that because it's gonna get real cheesy but yes it's very important to know why you're doing what you're doing okay so that's the 10 habits that i do to keep my body uh, body fat low very easily without relying just on exercise it's worked for me over seven years if you like the list please don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you want to see more videos like this from myself. I did also say at the beginning of this video that I have an awesome opportunity for someone wanting to start into fitness. It's very simple, but I'm very new to YouTube, so I'm going to try and keep it not too hard for you guys. But at the same time, it's something that's going to challenge, um, challenge you to help me out as well as help you guys out to share this information for other people. So if this video gets a thousand likes in the next 30 days of when I post this video, so whenever that is, check the date, 30 days after, I'm gonna reveal one of the subscribers, so you need to be obviously subscribed. I'm gonna give away um, a personalized plan. I used to be a personal trainer myself. So a, personal, a personalized plan for you, so you can start out with a good workout routine, and it's gonna be 12 weeks long and also a diet plan for food that you actually enjoy and actually get the results that you want in the next 12 weeks of that plan. I thought that being a great idea for someone to really kickstart their fitness journey because I've enjoyed mine from day one. My fitness journey has really changed my life so I want to give that opportunity to someone and start on the right foot. I really want to thank you for watching this video. I'm sure it's packed a lot of value in there for you guys to really try. And again, comment below whatever you have tried because I would love to see if any of these have given you guys results. If they didn't work, also comment that down below. Give me, give me some slack for it, you know? And I'll make sure I try to up the value next time in the other videos up and coming. With that being said, hit the subscribe button for you to see the next video. And that is me out. See you later.